familiar with Steel City here. I'm impressed by Pittsburgh, to be honest. I am too. Being that we're in the Steel City, I thought that we're not just going to put steel in the undercarriage of this structure. We're actually going to put steel on top of the structure, part of the treehouse itself. I think this is the first time we've really done that. So Jeff and his company put together the yoke, which is so great, but now we're going to get some steel on the platform. Jeff was really sharp on the phone, and so it was great to make a deal with him. And He's got a trailer. He's going to load it up with the stuff that he's got ready at this point. Yeah. We already have the yoke up, and the yoke worked beautifully, so, so now we're going to go pick up the steel that sits on top of the platform. I mean, it's really cool that we're using all the steel for a stealer, for Antonio Brown's treehouse. I mean, this is awesome concept kind of the point yeah so. <laughs> hello are you jeff hi pete nice to meet you nice to meet you as well this is daryl hi nice to meet hey, you daryl look at this stuff whoa so this is all fabrication you're not a foundry correct we fabricate from pre-made pieces anchor bolts for the columns all the way through the finished railings. The steel that we use in the tree house in all of our projects is rolled from a molten steel in a foundry, and we get plain lengths, and we bring it in, and we cut it, and we drill it, and uh, fabricate it. And now you're loading up. This is the frame that we're going to have the windows hang off yeah, for everything around the front and the loft steel. Wow. This is a loft beam. Oh, right man. on. Cool. That's a sweet gantry crane you have there, too. I like that. That looks serious. And this is one of the guys behind the operation here. That's Mike. That's our speediest guy in the shop. Steel guys are tough. We're tough guys, too, but working steel in Pittsburgh in the winter, that makes you tough as nails. They're always filthy. <laughs> it's not a clean job. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you taking care of this. Great dude. Uh, don't get me wrong, but, man, you get dirty when you're working with steel. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. See you, you guys. Yeah. Something happened back here that you did. <laughs> yeah? It's time. Antonio Brown himself. I think we're going to blow him away because we created a sports complex on top of a treehouse. Like you wanted a bat? <laughs> Ooh, that's a small facility right there, man. As soon as we came around the corner, he saw the enormity of the sports facility and just lit up. Wow. Are you serious? This is for Antonio Brown? We can make that happen. I'm totally amazed. I got turf. I got basketball. It's an amazing sight. I mean, you're on this stuff all the time, aren't you? <laughs> right now here, baby. I wanted to keep A.B. looking down so he'd look up and be surprised. Okay, do so you want to... But he kept breaking free. I mean, I kind of want you to just look at it. He's a wide receiver, after all. I'm no cornerback. Oh, that's amazing. Looks like a souped up box at the game. I see a lot of glass. So this thing tints. It's clear when it's cloudy, but then when the sun hits it, it does a tint automatic. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Because otherwise it would be hot, right? It would be steaming up. It would be steaming up. This treehouse has it all. I mean, we went for a luxury skybox, and I think we went a little bit beyond that glass for miles. I mean, the thing is extraordinary. It is out of this world. Everything I dreamed about and everything I told Pete, he pretty much brought it to life.